What's up guys and welcome back to Grow Up. The clouds are smacking me in the face so telling me to wake up because it is time to play more Grow Up. And I have to go ahead and change, oh, this is the wrong place. I need to go ahead and change our suit because we played this, you know, little genie suit before. Why don't we go ahead, we'll do the cat suit. <laughs> kitty cat, kitty cat, cat. All right, let's go ahead with that. Let's sort of actually get some bearings. Where are we going today? Um, well, we did climb all of this, most of it, and then we fell off, right? Yeah, that's basically what happened. So we need to get our way back up there. There's a tele-router right over here. I just don't have like another, what, is this a tele-router? If this is a tele-router, I will kerplopple on the, that tele-router and then teleport to the other tele-router with that tele-router. It's the perfect plan. Wait, is this a tele-router? Or is this, yeah, this is a tele-router. Okay, then never mind. I'll just use this one. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, this isn't. All right, then. Let's go on through here and beam me up. And then we will, whoa. Um, now I gotta sort of figure out where I wanna go. So we don't wanna go to Fungi Field or the bounce a Island or the Champoline. Okay, this might take me a few moments. Is this the one? No, this is the Cacti one. All right, I gotta figure this out. This is a little, what about the one that's over there? Did I never get that one? Huh, maybe I never got that. Well, oh yeah, now I remember. I did not get that. Wow, what's wrong with me? Should have been like the number one priority. Oh, and I think it's because I died and then teleported me back here. <laughs> Look at the little, cute little umbrella shoot. All right, let's go ahead with this. I'm gonna boost up as much as I can and we're just gonna continue our ride over that way. Man, not only is this game, <laughs> is that a dead fish? Oh, is, is that supposed to be like a milk bowl? Oh, I get it, is the uh, other thing. Let's go ahead and start boosting like this. But it's just like, this game has been my go-to chill game as well. This and Minecraft are my go-to chill game. And I love that. Of course, not Minecraft Battle Mode. That's not a chill game. But Minecraft on our normal Minecraft PS4 series, which you should totally check out if you don't know it exists, because it does exist, a lot of people don't. It's a fun series. We play Minecraft and we just chill out and we talk about life. This is totally like a little milk ball. I mean, I have heard that milk isn't really the best for your cats. I mean, that's sort of irrelevant to what we're doing. We're a robot. I don't think milk is not really necessary for us at all. It just makes me, you know, curious. Like, why is that such a thing? Like, such a staple for cats, you know? It's like in cartoons and stuff, you see cats drinking milk. But apparently that's not actually that very good for them. It's like, then how, why did that start? I, don't know. <laughs> I guess little things like that fascinate, fascinate me in weird ways. Oh, can we get this? Oh, yeah, okay, good, good, good. Launch me, thank you. Ooh, we're getting higher and higher, but we got a lot more to work at. Here, if I could, ooh, I see what we could do here. I see this crystal. Let's go ahead and slow it down. And we're gonna land on this. We're gonna go ahead and take this crystal. No, 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 ah, oh, I donked my head, but that's cool, that's cool. All right, I just need to go ahead and grab this. So let's go ahead and take this. There you go, and then I'm just gonna, Go wherever this takes me, whoa, it always freezes when we get a crystal. Not appreciative of that. So is there, an, I hear another crystal, because there is another crystal. But we need to get like what, 60? Maybe 65? Not just 16. All right. I can hear the other teller router though, so let's not go with the spanking machine just yet. Okay, let's uh, wait it out, then let's go. Not enough. <laughs> oh jeez, I just love Bud though, cause he's so just like, little running around and everything. When he's actually in the cat suit, it reminds me of some of my cats. Like, one of our newest additions to the household is Biggie the cat, Big E. He's like, his full name is Eli, but we call him Biggie. I mean, it's funny because he also sort of has big eyes, so it fits. Let's go ahead. Oh. Can I get this? Oh, there you go. But the way he just runs around, he's so excited. Is the same way Bud sort of moves around too. There you go, now I got this. So if something horrible happens, I can maybe undo the damage. Give me this, thank you. So now I can use this little boost. Ooh, that is so cool, I love that meteorite over there. Okay. So I guess really the only way to get to those kinds of things over there is to have all these batteries and have the gliding and everything. Okay, let's go ahead. Is it gonna spank me? Ready? Hey! 
okay, that really wasn't as far upwards as I was hoping for. I love how the front it doesn't say butt anymore, it says cat. <laughs> That's funny. Let's go ahead, we'll get to this launcher. I feel like these launchers aren't as awesomely effective as they could be. Like, they look like they're gonna launch us super far, and then they don't really, like they barely, okay, that one, that one was way better than any of the other ones we've ever done. Because usually all the other ones don't really launch you all that higher than the top of whatever it is, you know? Ooh, grab it. Okay, we got off here, that's good. We are getting really close to the top now, so we just gotta keep going. Of course, we've grown this all the way to the top in the last episode, but then we unfortunately sort of made a few mistakes, fell all the way down. Oh, I hear a crystal though. Okay, hold on. There it is. I didn't know this was here. Uh, my scanners are, yeah, yeah, no, there is a ship part. I think it's at the top? Yeah, it's at the top. Hey, Mr. Bug, get out of here. No, he's knocking me around. So rude. No, let's get back up to the top and don't push me. Cats eat bugs sometimes, you know. I mean, my cats usually try to hunt down the flies, so I would be worried if I were you. Maybe they just know I'm inorganic, I'm a robot. But that's sort of the thing about this plant, is that that's what, I think it was that we were almost at the top here, and then we fell, because it's sort of awkward to get up here, and it doesn't connect to it over there, so we still gotta sort of get up there on our own. And I'm just gonna hope that getting up here and doing all this will be enough but I'm not really sure. I hope this will launch us high enough, because if not, then we're sort of out of luck for it, and I have no idea how to get up there. I mean, we could keep growing the plant, that's the thing. It's like, even though we're at its maximum height for the entire plant in general, it's other branches you can keep growing, from my knowledge, so. Oh yeah, and it's sort of ridiculous, because you can't just hop off the center of it like you could the other ones. You gotta get all the way up here, and then you have to grab the edge of it. Sort of, I think. Maybe not. And is that gonna pull it down? See, that's the thing, I'm not really clear on that. Cause where else am I gonna grab? Game, don't lag out on me. Maybe you can't launch off this one. Like obviously, clearly this is not doing anything. Maybe I'm just, I chose a bad branch. Like some of them seem to have more things towards the edge of it, but. Here, I'm just gonna go to the center of it, and like, holding on to it doesn't appear to do anything. Hopping off of it, it isn't like a mushroom. It obviously has to work some way, though. There's no way, it just doesn't do nothing, you know? That, that'd be super all kinds of lame. So I'm gonna try this branch. Cause if, if I can't, then I have no idea, you know? It's just, I feel like it's, hmm. No, 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 hold on, I wanna need to hold on to it. It's just nothing. I mean, I'll try to hold on to the edge over here, but that doesn't seem to be giving me much either. I think that it just doesn't do nothing. I mean, that's like seven different kinds of stinky right there. Like, that's super lame. But obviously it's like, what else would I do? So let's get back up here. Oh, I can't, come on, bud. There you go. So how am I gonna get up there? I guess I could just keep growing the plant. Oh, that's so lame now. You get to the top, you're so excited to grow it to new heights, right? You can't. You just can't. Unless I'm like mistaken and there's still another rock, but I'm almost certain this one's fully grown. Like, yeah, that's what we did in the last episode. Let's go ahead and, I don't know how much this will help. That didn't do anything. Hmm, maybe it just doesn't grow on the surface like this. I don't know what to do about that. Maybe if I just stand on top of it. Like you'd think it would have already worked by now if that was the case. But I'm gonna try for it. Like just this one. Like get onto the edge of it. And then just hold on tight. It feels like it's supposed to, right? But nothing. It just blows me away how all of them have a use except for this one. Like what's the deal? All right. I'm gonna stop just continually disappointing myself and just find an edge of it. Like this one. And just ride it upwards until we're closer. Ooh, got it. And let's go ahead and get it here like this. And to just bring this closer to the thingamaboob, which is up here. And we should be able to make it pretty quickly, you know? Is it gonna be super crazy fast now? It's our greatest height ever, though, 1,600 meters. You can see we're apparently only halfway to the moon, though. 
Which, I mean, that sort of makes sense. And then I think I can make it from here. Honestly, that looks like feasible. So I'm gonna try for it. I mean, looks like I, yeah, it looks like I can. Let's get up here just like this, angle myself up, and then jump. Go, 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 go! Just get to as much altitude as I can, and then I can climb up the rest. Ooh, just like that. I might try scooping down like this, and then using it one more time. Yeah, I could get this. Look, there's the moon, too. Hi, moon! How you doing? All right, that was good, that was good. And then, let me just like, land around here. I do hear a crystal, but the thing is actually, it sounds like it's in like, inside a cave or something. So I did not see it around. Yeah, it's probably inside a cave or something. Yeah, let's get up here, or maybe it's just like on the other side of this. By the way, we got ourselves the ship parts. Here, oh yeah! <laughs> Ninja cat! Ooh, there you go. And now let's jump off of this. Watch it do its thing. I hope there's no crystal in there. That'd be sort of lame now. It doesn't look like it. Hooray, so there's another ship part done. We only need three more of those darn things. How awesome is that? Three more ship parts and then we're done with that. I mean, at that point, I think the game is considered done. I don't know if we'll be shooting for 100%. We'll be shooting for anything that's gonna make completing the game better and easier. There you go. So of course, I'm gonna get crystals whenever I find them. But when we can find a big spanker like this one, we'll use that to get the heck out of here. But I'm just trying to look around. I can hear a crystal, so. And if you can hear a crystal, that means they're nearby. So how near is nearby? Okay, that's not too bad. Let me, ah, 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 oh my. <laughs> All right, I think I, yeah, there, there is a teleporter over here that will take advantage of that. Any kind of advantages like that we can take, because obviously, meter-wise, we are the highest we've ever been, so that's pretty cool. There we go, get this. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and glide on this way and get this figured out. That way we can continue making progress. Now try to get to the highest point of the mountain again. That shouldn't be too difficult. And once we do that, we should be like good to like glide to our next location, wherever that might be. Maybe we should just spank on the way out, just for extra momentum. But I don't think we need all of that, you know? So where is the next ship park going to be? I mean, it's probably up north, like over here, because we haven't been on these parts, and this part's all icy and stuff, so that's pretty cool. So we're gonna try to make our way over here to this island. There doesn't seem to be a star plant down here, so when it comes to getting up here, I don't know if it's just a matter of luck. I don't know if we should try to get ourselves over here. I mean, it's hard to say. I mean, if you look at the altitude, that altitude is so much lower than what we are here. So hopefully a good spank is all we need to get ourselves to way over yonder. So before we go ahead, and get ourselves spanked. Let's, I gotta stop saying it like that. Let's look off the edge of this. Jeez, like you can see like, we are taller than the diameter of the planet, you know? Okay, so like it's over there though, that's the, the biggest issue. Hmm, maybe it'd be better to use that one. Always have to be tail riders, but I know, I know, I know, I already did it. You can't tell me to do something that I've already done. Okay, let's go ahead and then, we. Okay, so that really wasn't the best idea. But it's this way, so we can make it work. Ooh, now let's just go for it. We're just gonna glide our way there. I don't think we'll be able to make it, unfortunately, it's such a huge distance. When your altitude is higher than the diameter of the planet, things get funky really quickly, you know? Well, we're just gonna glide down like that and then pull back up, just because it's cool. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna go ahead and jetpack some more, because it's gonna boost our height. Ooh, if I look back, like, I'm definitely not as high up as I was, but it's like it's also because I'm trying to go on the other side of the planet, essentially. At least like a third on the other side of the planet. It's just crazy, because like you can see probably like 65% of the game from this angle, you know? So that's just an interesting concept. But I need to definitely keep high in the air if I want to be able to continue doing this. Because it's like if you look at it from here, it looks like I'll totally make it. But I'm not really sure. So we're just gonna keep going and hope for the best. And if it looks like I'm not gonna make it, find a tail router, maybe try again? I'm not really sure. But I don't know, I think I'll be able to make it from here. <laughs> Getting two ship parts in one episode is always pretty rad. 
But just whenever I do this, just keep gliding. I, I honestly can't tell if I'm getting any higher in the air or not. Like, it's just, there's not enough context clues at this part of the planet. It's very hard to tell when you're at this altitude if you're getting lower, if you're getting higher. Game, please don't freeze in me. But I'm getting the achievement or trophy, budding traveler. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I don't know if there's a platinum for this game. I gotta assume that there is. It's a Ubisoft game. But you never know. Sometimes Sony's like that. Like you don't have platinums for like some of the best games, I guess. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna pull down like that. And we just keep going. Just as soon as we need it, it's like the batteries like gets back up and ready. Yeah, we can make that though. We can totally make that. I could probably glide my way down there now, because that's not a big distance. All right, it sort of sneaks up on you too. Come on now, come on now. Almost there. Oh, this is so cool, I love this game. We can just land right on that. Let's go ahead and get sort of flying like this and then hold off a little bit so that I can grab this. Yeah, get down, slam it down. All right, cool, cool, cool. And then, uh, is this like an egg or is this an alp? I guess it's just like an alp, but it just looks like an egg on top of the mountain. Is this just gonna be like a gigantic bird the size of the planet? Like, Kaka, leave that egg alone. It's like we're actually not on a planet in space, but we're on a planet on a, like another gigantic planet and we're just like a molecule. Gosh, that would be, that'd be weird. I don't know if I wanna think about that in detail. All right, so this is new. This is all snowy and stuff. Ooh, let's go ahead. Do that, launch me. Launch me, yeah, okay. So we could probably find our last and final, if we can find out where it is, our last ship piece. It's probably on the other axis of the planet over here. There's a new ability. Huh, wait. Okay, there are two more ship parts. Well then obviously we're gonna get this more difficult one first, but what is our process for getting there? Maybe we need this new ability. So we'll try to get, yeah, I'll just zoom in. Get that new ability. We are literally on the other side of the planet. So I'm not sure, we'll, we'll, that'll be the rest of it for today is trying to make your way over there. It's like, I don't even know if I'm going the right way. It's, it's like you can't see through the planet to see your checkpoint, right? So that's sort of the issue there. I feel like I should actually go over here and set up the tele-router if this is one. Now let's go find out if this is a tele-router. Is this a tele-router? That's a tele-router. Let's go ahead and get that. I could actually, well, no, I don't wanna do that. I wanna make sure I'm able to hit it. But um, get this tele-router set up. That way I could just sort of maybe go back to a better location where I have one. Okay, got that. I hear another crystal. We'll go ahead and take that. I mean, they're everywhere. The crystals are everywhere. We got plenty more in the game to find. Get you. Come on over here and get you. And finally, you over here, dude. I'm getting you. Gotcha. So where's this crest? Of course, it's up there. Not really too surprised. So I wonder what our next ability will be. Will it be our fourth battery? It seems like it's like every other thing is a new battery. So probably not. And ripped. Cool. So that's 53 out of 60, we only need seven more crystals. That honestly isn't that much of a challenge. Like if I were to go out of my way to get crystals, I could probably get seven crystals pretty quickly. But it's not really something I'm trying to look into right now. So like I can sort of zoom out and get a better context on where I am, where I'm trying to be. I mean, I can't zoom out a ton. But like you can see that's where I need to be over there. You can't see it from here though. You can't see it from here, which is odd. You can't see it from there, you can't see it from there. You cannot see it from there. This is where we are. So I think we've already gone all the way around with all the tell riders we have. So I think the one we wanna do is this one. Let's go ahead and do this one. And let's figure this out. So we are here. We are facing this way. So if we go out this way, our waypoint is this way. It's right here. I think we can make that. It leads to the new ability. Can we get higher? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, if we don't, we just set up that tail router again. Spank me. Yeah! <laughs> All right, yeah, it's over here. So let me just sort of change my projection a little bit. I think I can make that. I think it'll be nice and clean. Oh, yeah. 
I just love the little fish gliding. Like, I just find it funny because that makes literally no, like, physical sense, you know? But now we're good to go over here, nice and fun, nice and fun. It's just the whole world is our little oyster where we can fly around and do cool stuff. There's like nobody else here to get in our way. There's no like enemies or anything, which I sort of appreciate. I mean, I know some people find that to be stinky for whatever reason, but I appreciate it. But I think these last, like if I pause the game, I don't think I can see from here, but I think if I go like this, if we go to our mission stats, you can't actually, well, I mean, it's all this stuff you see here on the, on the moon. You see there's two more sort of silhouettes we need to fill, and then we're good. All right, let's go ahead, start jetpacking, start jetpacking. And then we also still have that plant in our inventory, as you can see, so maybe we could use that to um, boost up higher if need be. I don't know if we'll be able to get all the way up, but you can see there's a lot of really small, really, really tiny little I guess asteroid flotations, I guess you could even say. That it's like, if we need to make our way up, we literally can, there's no star plant involved. We could hop from this one, to that one, to that one, to that one, to that one. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but I mean, it's supposed to be getting difficult at this point. I think we're reaching the end of the game, or at least the end of the main game. Of course, it'd be much more of the game, depending on if we wanna go and get all the crystals. I'm not sure if that's something we'll be up to doing, but it's, it's there, it's possible. And like somewhere down below is the other ship part. And I figure we'll just get that on our way down. That'd be easier that way. Definitely, no matter what, we're gonna get some tail routers here, so. I mean, maybe I should just, <laughs> I love when Bud goes, go for it. It's just like, thank you, Bud. I will go for it. All right, oh, we're getting close. I honestly think that maybe we shouldn't even go for the new ability. It's like, if we're this close, like we should go for this. Go for it, as Bud said, go for it. We got, we got his, say so, he believes in us, and sometimes that's all you need, you just need that one little friend, either he be a cute robot or not, just cheer you on, that's what I need. Come on, that's gonna refill one more time. Oh, uh, we can definitely get up there from here. I just don't know if there's gonna be a tell router. It'd be majorly helpful if there is. Oh. Then we're just gonna glide this out. Oh, we could get up from here. Oh, we could totally get up from here. It seems like the gravity does get harder to maneuver once you get closer to a planet because the game knows what you're trying to do. Oh, these are the things that emit the, the blooble blabs. That's cool. Well, now we got a blooble blab. And it's gonna bring me right over. Oh, geez, come on, game. Come on, game. Oh, I cannot see a th darn thing. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Here. I know, I know. The ship part's up there, right? I'll go ahead and get that in a second. No, I know I'm trying to go for it, bud. I'm trying to go for it, let's try this again. <laughs> let's land back down here. And then we're just gonna, ooh. Come on, I want this crystal. It's my main goal right now. There you go. So now I can actually glide my way. Ooh, this is maybe a dumb idea. <laughs> it can be hard to do a 180 with the glider. I mean, you can definitely see that, especially with the cameras trying to catch up with me, and it's not having too much luck. And of course, we could get more costumes right now if we tried to do these pod challenges, but I feel like that's sort of a little out of the way for what we're currently trying to do. Yeah, let's, let's just, just sort of do its thing. Then we'll go ahead and jetpack, 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 jetpack. And just be able to get up here nice and clean. I love it. And there you go. So, Bud told us to go for it. We went for it. it worked out nice and fine. Ow. Now I'm hitting him in the head with the side of the, the tele router. I love how it has Bud's name on it. It's like, hey, Bud, this thing. Just so you know, Bud. Maybe Bud put it on there himself so nobody else would take it. Either way, let's go over here and get this ship part. The game's freezing up on me now. And see what's gonna go on. Like, I mean, at this point, like if this, you know, if getting all these ship parts is the end of the game, then we might have the finale right here. Who knows? I mean, of course, it's up to you guys if you wanna see more or whatever. Ooh, come on, come on. Slam it down, boom, like a wrestling move. All right, I know I'm trying to, I'm trying to. I'm trying to step down. You make it a little difficult for me. I do hear a crystal though. Oh, and it was sitting there right under it. I was expecting that to happen at some point. There you go, it happened. This is uh, 57, 58, something like that. 55, okay, I'm way off. All right, I know there's only one ship part left to find and we know where it is exactly, so let me first make extra sure the ship part is below. It is, okay. Then let's go ahead 
I just, I'm just gonna go ahead and free fall. Like, I know it, it's gonna be scary because, you know, Bud thinks he's gonna get damaged because if you land too quickly, I think you just die. We don't have to worry about that because at the last possible moment, I'll be going ahead and pulling out a glider. Ready, set, boop. There you go. <laughs> oh, jeez, I forgot that he has this little roller thing. And then there should be a button we can press. Just like that. He's like Sonic the Hedgehog, I love it. Cute little Sonic imitator. He's more like Sonic the Cat. <laughs> Original character, please do not steal. Get this. And then finally, this one right here. Just tell routers are so helpful. They're game changingly helpful. Wait, this game would be way harder without tell routers, for sure. Where's this crystal at? I can hear it. Like it's super duper close. Cause it's under all this. Not under it, but it's next to it. It's sort of kind of under it. Oh, excuse me. Trying to get on through. Whoa. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but that's how it happened. All right, let's get over here and get the, the building. Is this water? I thought this was water. I guess it, maybe it's just like a thin film of water. It's like you're not really falling on it because there's nothing under it. It's just, you know, a thin amount of water over top of the world, or the, the land. It looks like to be the case. I hear a crystal, I just don't see a crystal. All right, well, let's check out what this new ability is because that'll be nice and exciting. It is. Your crystal locator is online. You might get as good at fighting these things as me. Ooh, boy. So now we just know, right? It's just like, well, no, that's tail router. What does that mean, though? Like, how do I see? Oh, I guess that thing in the bottom right. It's just sort of telling me there's a crystal nearby. Hmm. I was sort of hoping for something that maybe would simplify the process a little bit more. Like, you know, like how, mu how easy it makes, like, it points out. You know, oh, there is a crystal here. Or like, oh, there's a, you know, there is a ship part here. I was hoping for something like that for the crystals. All right, we got a flight bulb. That's a cute pun. It's somewhere around here. Like, now it's four bars. It's like a reception. Hmm. But if we don't find it, we don't find it. It's fine. Let's go ahead and get our last ship part. Because I don't want to diddly dally with that too much. So we'll get a crystal over here. Because it's here. It's definitely not the other crystal, though. Oh, oh man, I missed it. I'm losing my skills. I think there's a ship part nearby. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. So let's go ahead, get our final ship part of the game and see if that's the finale. I think it would be. Oh, it's over the axis of the planet, so you have to sort of turn it in a weird way. Ooh, get this. And then I'll go ahead. I think you can launch yourself off of these, so we'll try that. I don't know if it'll launch me the right way. Let's see, eh, tenderless creeper, it's kind of creepy. Let's see, not sure what it does. I think that we need to be closer to the edge of it. Okay, whatever. You know what, we don't need it at this point, which is sort of the, I guess, exhilarating thing. All right, am I going the right way? We need to be turned slightly to the right. Yep, just like, oh, it's really just right there. That's totally not a big deal at all. Just go like that, and start going. We probably don't even need a second jetpack boost. Like, that's it. And I think that might be the end of the game. Wow, I mean, it's been five episodes. It's been a fun series. Like, this has been a really fun game. Oh, come on. Come on, get on over there. And I think that our original Grow Up series, or Grow Home series, was about five episodes, but that was because the episodes were way shorter. Oh, geez. Hey there, how you doing? And ka-slam. All right, that's the last ship bar we needed. So you go and enjoy that. And now what? Oh, you okay? You got it? <laughs> and that's the final ship part. I think that's all of them, bud. Let's go to the moon. How do we get to the moon? Uh, you're leaving a little bit out here. How do I get to the moon? Hold on, we might have to figure this out. Um, let me pause. The moon. I don't even know where the moon is. Like, can we set a waypoint for the moon? I mean, all we have to do is look up at the sink and sky. There's the moon. I don't know if our camo will actually catch it, though, you know? Huh. Yeah, you can't actually see it from here, you know? So maybe that's something we need to figure out in the next episode, who knows? I guess we'll finish it off there. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Grow Up. 
If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watch this part of the video, make sure you comment Zebra Cat so I know you're watching the end of the video and that you're a Zebra Tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.